So, this will be a World Cup match. I am going to be facing Sebastian Escalante. I'm hoping I pronounced that correctly. But this is the third and final round of the group stages of the World Cup. So, we need to win. Uh, UK needs to win this final round uh, if we want to advance. I'm going to be using Jonathan Evans' world team with a thunderous overmanet trick because I expected those six, because that's what Sebastian brought to Worlds. He got top 16 at Worlds with that team, which was impress very impressive. First Argentinian to top cut, I believe. Maybe even first, very first South American to uh, top cut, I think. But I brought Jonathan Evans' team with a thunderous over the metric because I thought it would have a very, very good matchup against this team. So, Although the only downside is I will have no idea what I'm doing because I've never used this team before. But I assume the Gengar Bronzong with Kyoga will be very nice. Probably Groudon in the back. That's what I'm going for anyway. The Thunderous Groudon is usually a very good lead against big 60 kind of teams, but Bronzong's probably better. So I think he was in a focus Kangaskhan as well, so that would make it a lot easier. I'm going to go with these, these four. Because the point of, well the way of beating big 6 supposed to be this team, or according to Wolfie, is to get Bronzong and Kyogre in, in Trick Room. He has got his Amoongus, but I should be able to safeguard away the spores. So I'll safeguard before I Trick Room. So I wonder what he would lead. Would he go with with the Smeagol? Would he go with like just Smeagol Xerneas? I wouldn't have thought so. He's taking the full time to decide. Which makes sense, because this is actually a proper match. This isn't just a friendly, like the last best of three was. This is an official match for the World Cup. So, good luck, Sebastian. Let's see what he goes with. I can look at the screen. I was noticing that in the last video. I was just doing that the whole time when I could just be looking at the screen. Which I should do. Because I can see everything on the screen. Because I've got a capture card now. Hooray! Okay, what is that? Kangaskhan Smeagol. That's pretty good. I like that. Because I can trap him straight away. Now, would he have brought Amoongus as well? I don't think so. So I can Mega Revolve and trap him. I think I want to go straight for the Will-O-Wisp. He could follow me, but then he's not that avoiding. So I assume he would fake out my Bronzong. Just said I wouldn't do it, and I'm looking at the, at the DS. I need to look at the actual screen, because I can still see what I'm doing. Um, can just trick him, trick him straight away, but the only problem is he could have Amoongus, but surely he wouldn't have brought Amoongus and Smeagol. So I think I would be safe getting up the trick room straight away. So I'm going to go for the trick room. It's going to be Amoongus, isn't it? Watch it be Amoongus. It is Amoongus! I can't believe he brought Amoongus as well. Oh, that's crazy. I hope he fakes out. That'd be very nice for me if he fakes out. Although, I, I can just protect and safeguard. That'd be fine. So, it is Mega Evolving, no Scrappy, so that's nice. If I hit the Will-O-Wisp, I'm in a very nice position. Fake out? Nope. Hit the Will-O-Wisp, that's very nice. And now Amoongus and Kangaskhan are trapped in and they can do, like, nothing. There's Power Up Punch, though, negates the Will-O-Wisp, so that's nice. Okay, so that's not doing much damage, but now I can just protect and safeguard next turn. Very safely, because he's trapped in with both, he can't switch out back to his Smeagol. Would he have brought a Xerneas, or... I would, I would assume Groudon. I wouldn't... I would not think Xerneas would have come to this. So, I can protect. I could Jara Ball instead, later, but then he could Sucker Punch me. I do want to safeguard though. Hmm. I'm doing it again, looking at my DS. Hmm, okay. So I would like to protect, but would it be best to just take the spore? Because he can't do anything if I just keep water wisping. No, I should protect and I should safeguard. I need to find my DS charger because it's running out of charge, so I'm just gonna... Oh, there's the spore, so that's fine, because I've got a Lumberry. So I'll wake up, get the safeguard, 
Very nice. You can't even see the Lumberry. As I'm finding my DS charger. That was safeguard. And power-up punch again. Yep, that makes sense. Very nice, very nice. So I shouldn't have protected. I knew I shouldn't have protected. But it's still fairly safe. So I can widow us the Amoongus now. The Amoongus is, is useless. I don't want to take a Sucker Punch on Gengar. That wouldn't make any sense. Okay, so we did have a DC, but apparently we were both connected. So it had only been two turns, so we've decided to just carry uh, re recreate what we had just done. So now we're back at turn three. What I'm going to do is I'm going to Will-O-Wisp the Amoongus, and I'm going to skill swap the Kangaskhan to make it even weaker. So there's the Rage Powder, so he's going to give me his Effect Spore Regenerator with my Bronzong, so that's fine. He is just attacking with his Kang, he's not Sucker Punching. So I could have Sludge Bombed. And it is Effect Spore, not Regenerator. Oh, 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 no, he's already burned. Ah, oh, that could have been so cool. I would have actually preferred that to knock me out. So that's just a shame it didn't. So will I wisp onto the Amoongus because I didn't want any Sucker Punches. It's going to slowly whittle it down. Would he Sucker Punch this time? Probably not. You wouldn't have thought so. But I still, I, I still want the trap. I want to guarantee the trap. So I'm going to protect. And do I skill swap again? Because levitate would be nice. Because I can skill swap my Kyogre. Gerable, skill swap. I think I want to start getting KOs. So I'm going to Gerable. If he Rage Powders, then it doesn't really matter. Hopefully he Sucker Punches into the Gengar this time. I would ex still expect Rage Powder. There's not really much reason not to. So I'm going to do a tiny bit to the Amoongus. I could still have been attacking with the Gengar. So now return. We'll knock out the Bronzong. And I can go into my Groudon. Which is very nice. See, I haven't really done that much damage. I've trapped him in, but because he's power-up punched, hasn't done that well. I need to look at the screen. So I don't want to go into Kyogre because then he can just suck a punch and grass my it. So I'm going to go into Grand Groudon. <coughs> can under speed, but I've still got the safeguard up. So everything is fine. Now, again, I don't want to attack with Gengar. Like, he hasn't Sucker Punched at all yet. Which is very very good, nicely played from him, but will he do it this time? Hmm. See, again, I don't want to attack just in case, because he could knock me out with Sucker Punch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just Will-O-Wisp again, because then I avoid the Sucker Punch. And just press his blades. I think so. Or Eruption. Eruption's way better. Definitely Eruption. But he could suck a punch and then Grass Knot and then that does a lot. Ooh. Is it worth? Surely not. Precipice Blades might not knock out the Kang, but it should. I'm gonna hit the Precipice Blades, everything's fine. There's the Grass Knot, there was no Sucker Punch, so Eruption was better. I gave him Levitate, didn't I? Eruption was so much better, and I miss. I got punished so hard for that. <laughs> so now we can Sucker Punch and Grass Knot my Groudon. Okay. Maybe he doesn't even have Sucker Punch, so dimensions are back to normal. But now, if I Sludge Bomb and Eruption then he can't really stop that. He can knock out my Gengar. He could finally Sucker Punch it, which I will expect him to. It's going to be Rage Powder, that's fine. So, Sludge Bomb. Onto the Amoongus. Puts it in Burn Rage, okay. So I should have protected the Groudon there. It doesn't knock out. But again, <laughs> Precipice Blaze was better. This is the weakest eruption in the world! But it did knock out the Amoongus. <laughs> That's fair. 
Don't have safeguard anymore. Yeah, I don't have safeguard. Okay. See, for this match, I think I was too focused on the Gengar trap, and I just let him do all the passive damage to the Bronze on the Groudon, which wasn't so good. And there's his Groudon. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't bring Xerneas. Now, the play here is to HP Water and switching Kyogre. Hmm. I need to get rid of that. That Kangaskhan is probably, it can probably take two more hits. This is awkward, because he could very easily suck punch me now. Yeah, I'm going to go for Hidden Power Water. Or should I just double protect first? No, double protect is way better. Did I already protect with Gengar? No. Did I? No, it's Sludge Bomb, so I'm going to double protect. That gives another turn of burn. And I get to see if he's physical or special. Unless he goes for Substitute, and that wouldn't be good. <coughs> and it was Sucker Punch. And Presbyte's Blades, okay. Is that one will burn? I don't think that is. Hmm. Okay, so I could switch out into Kyogre and just sack my Groudon. I think that's what I need to do. Now, is it better to double protect or just sack? Can miss Presbyte's Blades. So I'm going to Presbyte's Blades. If he returns, he's a lord. I'm going to have to go through all these animations. Hooray. We're running to full primal. gonna sucker punch. If he doesn't sucker punch, this is really bad. There's sucker punch. That's fine. Miss your Presbyte's Blades. Or don't. <laughs> but now, I can double protect again and knock out the Kang. Is it gonna knock it out? That That is a knockout. Oh, okay. 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 This is good. This is good. Because I've won the weather, I can just HP water. This is nice, this is nice. So this should be fine. I think he was fake out follow me. So theoretically, Origin Pulse plus HP Water is a knockout, but he could protect Dark Void. I'm just, just going to double protect, because he could fake out. Or do I just protect in HP Water? Our water's pretty safe, I think. But he could still follow me. No, and then that turns Presbyte's Blades into a, double tar in, into a single target, so double protect is definitely the safer play. Just in case of the fake out. If, if he's got transform, then that's bad. Okay, okay. No, no, I was stalling out his protect. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was doing. But this this was safer. And he's faster than my Kyogre, which is to be expected. And he's just Dark Void. Okay, that's fine. Moody. Accuracy. Okay, okay. And evasiveness is fallen, so Origin Pulse will hit you. So Origin Pulse... Plus HP Water should be a win if he doesn't have White Guard. 
should be. Doesn't get the double protect, so Hidden Power Water finishes him off. Nice, nice. So I don't think I played that too well. I was way too focused on the on the Shadow Tag trap. But, yeah. HP Water coming through. It's going to be Dark Void, but unless he has Transform, he can't touch me now. He was always, He's definitely going to hit because he's got his accuracy. But now I can just win. So that's really nice. So just unless he forfeits, we're going to have to go through all the, all the sleeps. So, that's game one. Moody can't save you now. Defense, doesn't matter. Both special attackers. Uh, that's nice, that's nice. I didn't see what dropped. I should look at the screen. I keep saying that, but there we go. Okay, I'm going to Ice Beam, because then that doesn't show what water move I have. And I'm going to... I've shown all my moves now, haven't I? So it doesn't matter. I'm just going to Hidden Power Water. No, Sludge Bomb to see how much it does. And it should forfeit. There we go. So, game one. Moving on to game two. What would be his adjustments? Because he bought... Both Amoongus and Smigger, which was surprising. Because I would have thought he had only needed one. I, like, I, could, I would have probably picked Amoongus over Smigger. But, there we go. Now, do I go with the Trick Room route again? Because Gengar is a very nice lead against everything. He's got Talent Effect, hasn't he? Because he's that, that version of the Big Six. Okay. Right. So I definitely live a Brave Bird from Talent Flame. Do I want to go with my own? Because would he bring Amoongus this time? Because he didn't bring Xerneas. Maybe he thinks he doesn't need Xerneas because I'm so anti Xerneas. Look how anti Xerneas it is. <laughs> hmm. What would he adjust to? I wouldn't leave Kang. Because I'm pretty sure he was in a focus, not scrappy. He could go with follow me on the Will-O-Wisp, then that doesn't really matter. I think it's still safe to go with Bronzong and Gengar, with both in the back. I could go with Thunderous Grad on this time, but I don't want to. I'm going to stick with those two and just play it better this time. Yeah, I, I wouldn't really expect Xerneas. Like, Xerneas is always nice to bring, but not against this team. <coughs> I would expect Amoongus. I would probably swap Smeagol for either Xerneas or Talonflame. <coughs> Going right down to the wire again. Ooh. So let's see his adjustment. Still Kang? I wouldn't expect Kang. Okay, that's the same, isn't it? Okay. So he can follow me away this time. This is this is absolutely fine. I'm I'm well. He can fake out and dark void. And then that doesn't give me a safeguard. Okay. But if he does that, then he's trapped in and can't touch me. So he could follow me. I would really expect probably, well, probably fake out and dart void. I'm going to skill swap straight away because I don't want to get trick room up this time. Okay, okay. Am I giving his ground on level take? I am, aren't I? <laughs> and I didn't go for safeguard. Safeguard was way better. I did Mega Evolve as well, so I can be hit by Precipice Blaze. That was very nice from him. I hope I dodged the Dark Void. <laughs> oh, he's double withdrawing. Okay, that's that's fine. I'll take that. So, no Trick Room for you, but he can Rage Powder away my Hidden Power Water now. I did Mega Evolve. Boo. But I'm giving him Levitate. I could have given myself Levitate. That would have been stylish. Yeah, because now he can hit Bronzong as well with Precipice Blaze. That was, that was not an optimal play from me. So he has adapted quite well. I think... 
I want <coughs> to just sack bronze on this turn. Because I can protect. So he's trapped in now. If Bronzong goes down this turn, which I hope it does, then I get a free switch into Kyogre, and then I can throw him with Sludge Bomb and Origin Pulse. I think I want my Levitate back. <laughs> So what I could have done is switched out into Kyogre and Skill Swap myself. But then I was still taking a Precipice Blade because of that. So I do want to protect. And I want Bronzong to go down this turn. So I'm just going to try and safeguard. Hopefully he knocks out Bronzong. It was my intention all along to get rid of Levitate so he KOs me. Hit. Nice. KO. Good. Okay, good. Because I'm a sassy bomb, I'm not relaxed, so I wouldn't have lived. Which is nice. So now I can get the free switch into... Into Kyogre. And I can Sludge Bomb and Origin Pulse. Then is that knockout? Because then he could protect his Groudon and Spore. I didn't get out my safeguard. So, and he's got Levitate on his ground. I definitely want to go into Kyogre. All I can do is I can double protect to stall out his protect. And that's if he goes for protect. So I could Sludge Bomb Ice Beam. That would be a big read. But probably not a very good one if I get it wrong. Because Gengar still beats the Kangaskhan in the back. If, Gra if Groudon goes down, Gengar just wins. If I still have Gengar. Because Sludge Bomb plus Ice Beam will KO the Amoongus. Sludge Bomb plus Origin Pulse will not. So I could protect an Origin Pulse. And that goes wrong if he um, protects and spores. I think I'm going to make the read. That he's going to protect his Groudon and spore. There we go. Very, very nice. So now Amoongus is gone. Hopefully. Unless he's got a Yachi Berry. Hooray! Very nice. So now he's only got his Kang left. If he brings in Kang, I can safely, pretty safely, go for Hidden Power Water plus Origin Pulse. Because he can only either fake out the Ky uh, Kyogre, and then I HP Water KO the Groudon. Or he sucker punches my Gengar, he can't knock out my Kyogre with Precipice Blades, and Origin Pulse will knock out his Groudon and do a huge chunk to his Kangaskhan. So that's that's pretty. That, like, this is this is a nice position now, because he's still trapped in. He can't switch out. So there's the Kangaskhan. So I can go for Origin Pulse and Hidden Power Water now. So that should be fine. So Hidden Power. Oh, do I want to go for the Will O Wisp? Is that worth? That's not worth. Because I can HP Water KO Groudon and then I'll win with Kyogre and Groudon. So I can Hidden Power Water. He can get the double protect, but that won't be the worst thing. I could miss Origin Pulse, so I think it's safer to go for Spout. Yeah. I'm going for him Power and Spout. Should, this could go wrong if he Sucker Punches Gengar and gets a double protect. That would be bad. But let's hope he doesn't. So 
this should be fine. As long as he doesn't get the double protect and the sucker punch off, this should be fine. What else could have been safer? I, like, if I'd have hit, then... If he had faked out the Kyogre and pressed his blade, then no, that was bad. So, th th this should be the best play. So long as he doesn't get the double protect. Okay, that's fine. Groudon's gone. He can't KO Gengar anymore. If I just will us forever, then he can't KO Gengar. So that's very nice. The return won't knock out um, Kyogre. I could have Origin Pulse. That would have done a lot more damage than this Spout will do, but that was way safer. Because if he'd have Cycle Punched the Gengar, then Water Spout would have hit. And I did half anyway, so that's fine. So I should be able to beat this with Gengar now. Unless he's got Crunch or any other move other than just Power Punch, Double Edge, and Fake Out. Or, no, he's got Return, so... It, and he's shown Sucker Punch, so... No, he's shown all four moves, so it's fine. I can just will o completely freely now, and... Protect the Kyogre? That makes the most sense, because then I live the Return. So, yeah. Yeah, there we go. He, he recognises that, so... Good game, Sebastian. Now, I think that was the first round... First game of this round, um, so... UK should be 1-0 at this point. We need to go, we need to get five five wins to get through into the cut of the World Cup. So hopefully we can do that. Thanks for watching.